How to calculate the total fall distance of your lanyard. According to the International Safety Equipment Association, ISEA, and the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA, personal fall arrest systems must be selected and rigged in a way that ensures the potential free fall distance does not exceed 6 feet, 1.8 meters. To calculate the total fall distance, several parameters need to be taken into consideration. The parameters are as follows, free fall distance, FFD, this is the vertical distance a worker falls before the fall arrest system stops the fall. The FFD depends on the position of the worker's anchor point relative to the harness back D-ring. If the anchor point is at the same level as the D-ring, the FFD is equal to the lanyard length. However, if the anchor point is above or below the D-ring, the FFD will change accordingly. Deceleration distance, DD. This is the vertical distance a worker falls after the fall arrest system activates and before the fall is completely arrested. The specific value for DD can be obtained from the manufacturer's guide for the equipment being used. Vertical elongation, VE. This refers to the stretch distance of the fall arrest system lifeline. It is important to consider the elongation when calculating the total fall distance. Harness effect, HE. This parameter represents the stretch distance of the harness itself during a fall. A properly fitted harness typically has a harness effect of one foot or less. Safety factor, SF. This is an additional factor incorporated into the calculation to ensure sufficient clearance below the working surface. To calculate the total fall distance, TFD, you add up the values of all the parameters mentioned above. TFD equals FFD plus DD plus V plus He plus SF for example. If a worker is using a 6-foot lanyard and has a 6-foot height, the total fall distance would be 18.5 feet, 5.6 meters, calculated by adding the free fall distance, 6 feet. The deceleration distance, maximum 3.5 feet allowed by OSHA for elongation of the energy absorber. The harness stretch, 1 foot, the distance from the worker's feet to the D-ring, 5 feet. And the safety factor, 3 feet. It is important to consult the manufacturer's guide for the specific values of deceleration distance and elongation when performing these calculations.